A reoccurring meeting is a meeting that occurs on a regular basis, like for example, if I want to schedule a meeting every Friday night in the month of October to do prep work prior to our big investigation on Halloween night, October the 31st, to schedule the reoccurring meeting, I can do it one of many ways. I can either come up here on the Home tab to the New Group and click on New Meeting and then enter in the information down below. But when it comes to setting up the reoccurrence, go ahead and click on the Reoccurrence button in the Options group and you get the Appointment Reoccurrence, which by the way is the same window as we talked about when we scheduled reoccurring appointments. So for this training video, I'm not going to cover all that over again because it's the same process, the same steps when it comes to scheduling and also updating one appointment, or in this case one meeting, within a series of meetings. If you just can't meet at the same time, and also how to delete one of those, and what will happen when you make changes to it, I go over all that, which is the same thing when it comes to meetings, in the reoccurring appointment training video. So here, I'll just go ahead and fly through it of what we're trying to set up and how we're going to schedule. In any case, let's go ahead and close out of here because that's one way. The other way is to come up here in the new group and click on new items. Then go down to more items, and it's right there, reoccurring meeting. The difference being is that it'll open up the meeting window, and on top of that, it's going to automatically open up the appointment reoccurrence window as well. So click on it, and there it is. So I don't have to come over here and click on reoccurrence. It's already there for me. Oh, isn't that fancy? Okay, let's go ahead and close out and close out of that. And then finally, my favorite way of doing this, scheduling a reoccurring meeting, is just to right-click anywhere. Because, well, wherever I right-click, it's going to schedule it for that day, but you can change the day in the meeting window. So it's the third. So when I right-click and I go down to New Reoccurring Meeting, click on it, you can see here it's on the third. And in the Appointment Reoccurrence window, which it opened up for us, so we don't have to come over here and click on Reoccurrence, it's also starting on October the 3rd, so you can change it here, which you might as well, instead of canceling out and updating it here, because what you do here will overwrite that. This takes precedence, and so for the start time, it's going to be after working hours, so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to 7 p.m., and it's going to be more than a half hour, so let's change it from 30 minutes to an hour, updates the end time to 8 p.m., then the recurrence pattern is going to be weekly, every week, not every two weeks. If it was, I'd type in two. Again, I cover all this in the reoccurring appointment training video. Same steps, same process. So let's go ahead and continue here to have it every Friday. Down below, when do you want to start? Well, it's the third. Is that a Friday? No, but what it's going to do is, is that it's going to look past the third and go to the first Friday. When it gets there, it's going to schedule the first meeting in a series of however many I choose. So you can leave it on the third, and it'll just automatically go to the first available Friday after that, which would be the fifth. But if it makes you feel more comfortable, like it does for me, I'll select the fifth. And then no end date, so we have this meeting ongoing perpetually forever. No thanks. You can end after so many occurrences of it, like maybe the four, I think. Or if you're not sure, you want to get more particular, that you want to end this prior to Halloween. Select End By, click on the date picker, and let's go back. And let's see, starts the fifth, one, two, three, so it would be four. In any case, since I'm here, I'm going to select the 26, which will be our last meeting. And then click OK, and then it updates it here, and it tells us, occurs every Wednesday and Friday, every Wednesday? Uh-oh. Well, if you need to make any changes, come back up here, click on Recurrence, and it was checked over here. So it's a good idea to read this because, as you just saw, I missed it. Boy, I fly through this so fast and uncheck that. Okay, now I feel better. Let's go ahead and click OK. Occurs every Friday, not every Wednesday and Friday. Effective October the 5th until October the 26th from 7 to 8 p.m. Oh, that works. Now we just need to go ahead and invite because we haven't sent this meeting invitation yet till we type in somebody's email address, K for Carrie Heffernan, and then let's do Mr. Humphreys. Hit the tab key. Fabulous. What's the subject? Halloween investigation prep. Do you have a location? If not, that's okay. You don't have to type one in, but if you don't, you click send. It's going to say, hey, are you sure about this? Because, well, it's thinking that maybe the people you're sending it to don't know where this is going to be at. Well, you don't have to put it in there, but it will remind you. So when I go ahead and click send, it says, do you want to send this meeting without a location? Yeah, go ahead and click send. Anyways, it updates it. And there you go, the reoccurring appointment beginning Friday, October the 5th at 7 p.m. And then again on the 12th, 19th, and the 26th. And like I said, if you want to be able to update one of these within the series or to delete one of them, 
You can watch my reoccurring appointment training video because it's the same for meetings. So if I right click on here and I want to be able to cancel a meeting for this occurrence or I want to go ahead and open this occurrence, not the entire series, and just change the time for that. Go ahead and do that. But when it comes to updating any of your meetings, remember they're invites. They've already been sent in this case here. So it'll give you the option to go ahead and send an update anytime you make a change to any one of these meetings, which we'll talk about in a later training video. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.